What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hidden More Sports YouTube channel. It's been a little while since we shot some footage, you know, took the holidays off, had some fun with the family, got some customer cars, worked on. But now it's January, it's time to get back into the swing of things. So we'll start off with an update on Klaus. He's right here, looking sad, with the spoiler all taken off, all dirty. But he is in his Klaus house right now. It's kind of crowded in here because I did some spring cleaning in the garage, got everything like organized and fun for the new project that we have. And you guys will see that in just a second. You see for Klaus, engine's still chilling here. The only problems he has right now, knock on wood, is there's a slight little electrical problem that's messing with the brake lights and tail lights in the rear. And then of course you guys know about the head gaskets that were put on upside down and then I tried to flip them over and we tried to make it work for the burnout contest but it was just pouring out coolant. So we have to pull the heads off again which requires getting the turbos off on each side, getting this assembly off in the front and then getting the intake off and fuel rails, the valve cover, pull the heads out. And then we will take those to accelerate performance. Don will get them machined again. We're going to get new head gaskets again. We might still go with the Vulcan cut ones, the Athenas. Or it might just change to some, some regular old gaskets. Because every single time you pull the heads, you gotta machine, you got to machine the heads with these gaskets. And I hate it. It's really annoying. But they'll hold all the power. But and we don't even make any much power because everything keeps breaking all the time. But he's still chilling in there. Everything works fine. Is what it is. But now we are going to introduce you guys to the new project. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Would you look at this? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, look at that. What an idiot. Would you look at this? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this. That is a Trailmaster 150. Don't have any idea what year it is, what was done to it before, while there's some like random welds on it, there's stuff, but it comes from China. 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 It's Chinese, great Chineseium. But as you can see, it's gutted. There is nothing in it except for some new tires that we got put on. And then, you know, steering works. But actually, like, everything is missing bolts and nuts out of this. It's completely crazy. It's going to need some work. But what we should do is put one of the Predator 212 motors on because we have, like, two of them. We got some, like, couple 20 horsepower ones that we built. You guys have seen the Hidden Mini Sports billet rods pistons all that stuff i have another spare one that's just sitting in a box still but that's not how we do it around here because that wouldn't go fast it'd do like 50. Mm -hmm. that's slow so what we did we went out and got a yamaha r6 engine and what that is is a 600 cc sport bike engine it will rev to 18,000. RPMs, I believe, is the red line, and it makes about 120 horse from the factory, which that's absolutely crazy. I mean, 120 horsepower in this thing, me and Chad picked it up. I'd probably say it's 350, 400 pounds as it sits right now. It's not that heavy. We're going to go ahead and probably paint the cage red. Uh, maybe get two Kirkies in here as well if they want to help out with us. Cause I'm trying to keep this build cheaper. Like, we've heard that one before. Not too much money. It's not a full-on Klaus build where he's getting the best of best. We're gonna try to use scrap metal I got laying around everywhere and anything that I already have in the garage. The gentleman gave us some little switches and some lights already. Uh, a little harness. Got random things. Uh, we'll see if I can put some Klaus hand-me-downs on it. I do have to spend, it's like $35. It's like Klaus's carbon fiber spoiler, but like half size. And of course, 
that's going to get put on this because we're kind of be like a mini Klaus that we can all drive around and fun. It's like Klaus's lifeboat because Klaus has a trailer hitch. We can pull it around on the small trailer. And of course, huge is going to break down like it does. And then we can boom, hop on this and go. It's going to take some work, I know, because you can only mount the engine to this right here because this is this rear suspension setup where the whole thing just goes up and down main thing is just to get it wired up get it running i already got a header going or coming for it right now they put these 600 cc motors in mini sprints or micro sprints is what they call them and there's a whole following for them get a gas pedal then we got to figure out how we're going to use the clutch whether we are going to Put a clutch on here like basically like how a motorcycle is put a third pedal down there which i don't know space seems limited probably somewhere right in here you'll have to put a shifter the bar that goes all the way in the back sucky part is the chain sprocket is going to be over here for the engine but it's over here for the tires so you're going to have to get i believe it's called a jack shaft put that on there it's nice thing is this has all got a four-wheeler rear end, four-wheeler tires, all uh, super swampers. It'd be really fun to like take this and play with the side-by-side -side blog guys or just take it out. Have some like real fun and like really thrash this thing around. And then the end goal for this thing. So we got a 72, 71, 62, 61s, like two of them. And then we also have, Shane just gave me this little 5251. And I really want to turbocharge the 600cc motor. And I think that's going to be a good size. We do have smaller BMW turbos that I could adapt and make it work. But that'll be after we get this running and it's running good. And then of course we'll ruin it and throw a turbo on it, make life more complicated. But man. Eh. You know, take it up to like 170, 180 horsepower in this thing. Oh yeah, lots of wheelies. <laughs> It'll be fun. Who knows if it's completely stupid, crazy wheelies. We'll just add some wheelie bars on it and turn it into a wheelie machine and just vroom, wheelie everywhere we go. That'd be fun too. Every single bolt is like missing. So we're going to go through this thing, tear it apart. Someone before the last guy like cut up where the control arms mount into and push them out on each side and i don't know why who would have done that the only thing is i can think of is to reduce the turning angle because the more you push it in in here is the more it should turn and now that's about the lock and yeah see it's it doesn't have that much angle but we definitely i'm gonna add some more bars in just you know because it will probably flip and this moves a little bit if you guys know anything about trailmaster 150s which is what that is let me know uh if you know anything about putting motorcycle engines in go-karts and making that all work let me know anything about jack shafts I haven't really researched this probably just gonna wing it like we do normally and hate life but that's our plan for that First thing we'll do though is get Klaus, get those heads off, because that won't take a couple hours to get that off and get them sent out. And then we'll start working on this. And what should we name it? It's got to have a name. I don't even know. Not Mini Klaus or Micro Klaus. I don't know. We got to figure out something to name it. Maybe I'll let you guys decide. We might take a poll or something like that. Throw some names in the comments. But that's that. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next one.